What is going on guys? Today I'll be teaching you how to make your very own custom admin commands in your Roblox game. These can be used for admin, like basic admin, but they're all your own very custom admin. You can use a free admin if you'd like. If it's not hot, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be group blocked, it can be for anyone to use. So I'll be teaching you how to make your own today, and it'll be three out of six commands that I'll be teaching you, and the other three will be in another video. So this is part one of the admin command series. So if you like the video, be sure to subscribe, and hit the like button, and comment down below for what I should do next after this series. So let's begin. You can either load up a brand new Roblox game or load in a old or currently in progress Roblox game that you're working on. Go to Server Script Service and add a brand new script. You can name it anything you like, but I'm going to name it Admin Commands. So the first command we're going to be dealing with is the kill command. So we're going to do game.players.playeradded connect function player. So we're putting player as the parameter so we can grab the player's name and all their information such as their player ID, character, and all that other stuff. If you want your admin commands to be locked, you can go over to your group, grab the ID, and you're gonna do if a player get rank in group and you're just gonna put that ID in is more or equal to 10 that is the rank number then you can always find the rank number by clicking the rank looking at the number and copying the number so if the player is higher than rank or higher or equal to rank 10 then B will continue so now we're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna grab each and every message that they say, and we're gonna check if it's the command. We're also gonna be using arguments, and arguments are, let's see, arguments are used to split the command into two. So kill, and then we have a space, and then my name. This is one argument, and this is one argument. If you want to have more arguments, like a reason, you have to split the message again. And you can say, uh, he was being mean, for example, or just wanted to, as any reason. So we're going to first add a definition of the uh, split. So I'm just split the message and I'm going to add two colons and a space. This splits the message into two. So if split, I'm going to add one as the argument. So argument one is colon kill. Then we want to grab the name as argument two. So local name equals split two. That's my argument two. And local player name is game.players find first child name. So argument two is gonna be put into the player name and player name is gonna look for that name in the players. Next we want to make sure that the player is even in the game. So if player uh, if player name then player name dot character Humanoid dot health equals zero. And if there is no player, then we're just gonna warn that there is no player. So name isn't in the game. So let's go ahead and test that out. And we're gonna test it on ourselves. So kill. And then we're going to do my name, and there we go, we died. And let's say we did Roblox, for example. It's going to warn that Roblox isn't in the game. And to fix that little space between Roblox and isn't, we're just going to add a little space here. Awesome. So after that, 
we're going to be doing a, let's see, a force field command. And this is going to be where the player wants to be protected from all damage in the game. So pretend this is a uh, me. When I say the force field command, it will create a new force field around me and it will stay on it for as long as I want until I say unforce field. And that is going to remove my force field. So I'm going to use the same process like before. So I was going to copy this. I'm going to copy this. And we're just going to add the split as well. So if the split argument 1 equals equals FF, or, I don't know, we can also add or to add other types of commands. So if it's FF or force field, then, but I'm going to stick with FF for now. So if FF, then, Local ff equals instance dot new force two. Local name again equals split two. Local player name is gonna be game dot players. Find first child name. If player name then ff.parent is going to be inside the player name's character. And if the player isn't in the game, then warn that name isn't in the game. And it's going to destroy it, the ff, so that doesn't clog up your game. Now before we continue, I'm just going to write an else if command. So else if split 1 equals equals unff, then local ff is going to be inside the player name, which actually I'm going to add right side up here so I can keep it global. So it's gonna be player name dot character if player name then it's going to format it and if player name then we're gonna, just going to define where the force field is, and if there is a force field, then we're going to destroy it. Or else we're going to return and we're just going to warn or error that there is no force field. And if there is no player, then we're just going to return and we're going to, or if we can just do warn, no player. Let's go and test that out. So, we're going to say FF, I'm going to say LMDM2041. There we go, I got my force field. And apparently, we just disappeared. I think I know why. We didn't specify what it is. So, player name, character, and then force field. We do not want to remove the character. So, here we go, I just force field with myself and I can unforce field myself whenever I want and there we go. No errors whatsoever. If I did, were to do unff again, I would say that force field isn't a valid member of m me. Because I don't have it. So even if I keep trying, I don't have it because I... But it does not break it. It only checks if I have it. And again, Roblox is in the game because it checks. Now, if you want, you can also make it so that 
it tells you if there is a force field or not. But the errors are fine. You can also keep it like that. It's not going to break anything, so you're fine. And the last command I'm going to be tele showing you is a teleportation command. So you can teleport from player A to player B if you are an admin. So once again, I'm just going to grab the same exact format like before. But this time, I'm just going to remove the, uh, the if statement for the uh, group block because I'm going to be using a local server with two players in it and those two players won't be in the group or rank. So I'm just going to remove it for test purposes. So if a split argument one is TP or teleport, I'm just going to keep TP, then local na uh, name is going to be split and then argument two, and local player name is going to be game.players find first child name. So after that, if there is a player name, then player.character.humanoid root part dot c frame is going to go to player names character dot humanoid root part c frame. Actually, we are going to go into the test server. So we're going to test with two players. Let's go test that out. Alright, so here we got player 1 and player 2. I am player 1, so I'm going to do TP to player 2. There we go, I teleported to player 2. Now I'm going to stand right here, I'm going to go to player 2 screen, I'm going to say TP to player 1. What? I have just teleported to player 1. And of course you can always make a group block, but for test purposes, I removed it. So, there you have it. 3 out of 6 commands, fully working, group block, force field kill, teleport, anything. The next ones are gonna be, let's see, kick, maybe god mode, and the last one's gonna be surprise. Thank you guys for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button if you like this video and learn something new from it, and comment down on what I should do next after the series.